enthalpy and entropy data for the dissociation of the weak acid HA are given below. First reaction, aqueous HA dissociated into its aqueous A minus ion and aqueous H plus ion. The second equation, gaseous A minus converted to aqueous A minus. Third one, gaseous H plus ion converted to aqueous H plus ion. Last one, gaseous HA converted to aqueous HA. Enthalpy change and entropy change of these four reactions are given. Question number one. Write the balanced chemical equation for the dissociation of HA in gas phase. HA in the gas phase dissociated into H plus ions in the gas phase and A minus ions in the gas phase. This is the answer for the question number one. Question number two. Calculate the following for the dissociation of HA in the gas phase. Enthalpy change, entropy change and the Gibbs energy change at 300 Kelvin. We can get the answers for the enthalpy change and entropy change for this reaction using a thermochemical cycle. First, we can write the dissociation of HA in the gas phase. Enthalpy change is delta H and entropy change is delta S for this reaction. Next, conversion of gaseous H plus ions to aqueous H plus ions. Enthalpy change of this reaction is given as delta H3 and entropy change is delta S3. Then, conversion of gaseous A minus ions to aqueous A minus ions. Enthalpy change of this conversion is delta H2 and entropy change of this conversion is delta S2. Conversion of gaseous HA into aqueous HA. Enthalpy change involved in this reaction is delta H4 and entropy change is delta S4. Finally, dissociation of HA in the aqueous phase into its ions in the aqueous phase. Enthalpy change involved in this reaction is delta H1 and entropy change involved in this reaction is delta S1. This is the thermochemical cycle. Now we can identify the two parts. This is root 1 and this is root 2. Therefore, according to the Hess's law, sum of enthalpy changes of root 1 is equal to the sum of enthalpy changes of root 2. This is the same for entropy changes. According to has a slow delta H plus delta H3 plus delta H2 equals delta H1 plus delta H4. Therefore, delta H equals sum of delta H1 and delta H4 minus sum of delta H3 and delta H2. Substitute values for this equation. Delta H1 equals 1 kilojoules per mole. Delta H4 equals negative 150 kilojoules per mole. Minus Delta H3 is negative 1100 kilojoules per mole plus delta H2 is 
negative 200 kilojoules per mole. Negative 149 plus 1300. The answer is 1151 kilojoules per mole. Similarly, delta S equals Sum of delta S1 and delta S4 minus sum of delta S3 and delta S2. Substitute values for this equation. Delta S1 is 95 joules per Kelvin per mole. Delta S4 is minus 100 joules per Kelvin per mole. Minus delta S3 is negative 1200 joules per Kelvin per mole. And delta S2 is negative 2000 joules per Kelvin per mole. Negative 5 plus 3200. Therefore, entropy change of this reaction is 3195 joules per Kelvin per mole. Next, Gibbs energy change of this reaction at 300 Kelvin. For that, we need the equation. Delta G equals delta H minus T delta S. 300 Kelvin is not the standard state. Therefore, do not use these symbols corresponding to the standard state. Substitute values for this equation. Delta H we have calculated 1151 kilojoules per mole minus temperature is 300 kelvin times entropy change is 3195 joules per kelvin per mole now we need to convert this joules into kilojoules therefore divide by or you can write 3195 times 10 to the negative 3 kilojoules per Kelvin per mole. 1151 minus 958.5. Therefore, the answer is 192.5 kilojoules per mole. This is the Gibbs free energy change for the above reaction. Question number 3. Comment on the spontaneity of the dissociation of HA in the gas phase at 300 Kelvin. Gibbs energy change of this reaction is calculated as 192.5 kilojoules per mole. This is a positive value. When delta G is positive, the reaction is non-spontaneous. Now we will write down the answer. Gibbs energy change for the dissociation of HA in the gas phase at 300 Kelvin is positive. Therefore, this reaction is non-spontaneous. This is the answer for the question number 3. Question number 4. Calculate the Gibbs energy change for the dissociation of HA in the aqueous phase at 300 Kelvin. This is the reaction for the dissociation of HA in the aqueous phase. Enthalpy change and entropy change of this reaction is given as data in the question, delta G equals 
delta h minus t delta s. Substitute values for this equation. Delta h is 1 kilojoules per mole. Minus temperature is 300 Kelvin. Times entropy change is 95 joules per Kelvin per mole. Again, 95 joules you need to convert into kilojoules. Therefore, you can divide 95 by 1000 or we can write 95 times 10 to the negative 3 kilojoules per Kelvin per mole. 1 minus 28.5. The answer is negative 27.5 kilojoules per mole. Therefore, Gibbs energy change for the dissociation of HA in the aqueous phase at 300 Kelvin is negative 27.5 kilojoules per mole. This is the answer for the question number 4. Question number 5. At what temperature does the Gibbs energy change of dissociation of HA in the gas phase become equal to its Gibbs energy change of dissociation in the aqueous phase. Assume that enthalpy change and entropy change are independent of temperature. This is the reaction for the dissociation of HE in the gas phase. Enthalpy change and entropy change of this reaction is calculated earlier. This is the dissociation of HA in the aqueous phase. Enthalpy change and entropy change of these reactions are given in the question. Now, we will write the delta G expression for the dissociation of HA in the gas phase and the dissociation of HA in the aqueous phase. At temperature T, Gibbs energy change of dissociation of HA in gas phase equals to the Gibbs energy change of dissociation of HA in aqueous phase. Therefore, we can write delta G gas phase equals delta G aqueous phase. Delta G gas means delta H gas minus T delta S gas phase. Then delta G equals delta H equals minus T delta S equals. We can rearrange this equation. Delta H gas phase minus delta H equals phase. Then T delta S gas phase minus T delta S equals phase. Delta H gas phase minus delta H equals phase equals T times delta S gas phase minus delta S equals phase. Temperature equals delta H gas phase minus delta H aqueous phase divided by delta S gas phase minus delta S aqueous phase. Substitute values for this equation. Delta H gas phase equals 1151 kilojoules per mole minus delta H aqueous phase equals 1 kilojoules per mole. Divide by delta S gas phase equals 3195 times 10 to the negative third kilojoules per Kelvin per mole minus entropy change in the aqueous phase 
equals 95 times 10 to the negative third kilojoules per Kelvin per mole. 1150 divided by 3.1. The answer is 370.9 Kelvin. Therefore, at 370.9 Kelvin temperature, the Gibbs energy change of dissociation of HA in the gas phase becomes equals to the Gibbs energy change of dissociation in the aqueous phase. This is the answer for the question number 5.